Hey, what's up, friends? All right, so today we are trying something different. We are putting tape all up around the outside, and we're going to get the paint to spread all out. But before we let any drip whatsoever pour out, we're going to make sure it fills the entire canvas. And I'm going to overload this with paint. I've seen people do this with, uh, with resin. And so they fill the whole thing up with resin, and then they pull the thing, and then the paint spills off the sides. Well, I'm going to try that with paint. And so for today, we have Valspar. And this bad boy is a Bayside. This is also Valspar's Sunny Jonky. Anyway. I know that wasn't in focus, so um, you'll have to take my word for it. Then we have a couple apple barrel. So um, I can't see apple barrel paint without thinking about that song, Apple Bottom Jeans and the Boots with the Fur. Anyway. Yeah, so that's what's happening. So I'm going to mix these on camera for the people that said they want mixed on camera. If you do not want to watch them, I will put the time code down in the description so you can just zip on to the good stuff. I right, guess. So here we go. Um, we're going to start off with Floetrol because it's the best and I haven't shaken it yet. All right. So the thing is, I've not worked with these, these apple barrel paints before. Um, so I'm just hoping and assuming they're exactly like all the other paints. So I'm grabbing my my uh, strainer right here from the from the water cup that I keep. This is because if you guys, one of you guys suggested this, and uh, it's a fantastic idea to be completely frank. I have a a bucket of water now that I when I'm done with these, I just drop it in. Oh. Must have got some stuck up in the edge. It'll be fine. It's not going to cause any any difference. All right, so uh, let's get some Floetrol strain up in this piece. And so remember, we're uh, we're trying to make the edges overflow. So we're going to make too much paint. I hate wasting paint, but. Um, I'm going to keep this piece of plastic I'm pouring on and see if I can't make some skins and do something with the skins. You all have like amazing things you've done with the skins. And so, oh, well, I'm sure not all of us mess with the skins, but oops, too much. It's okay. There we are. So if you are, the type of person that wants to know everything and see exactly how everything happens. This is guaranteed cells every single time with the house paints. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the apple bar apple bottom paints, but um, for sure with the house paints, one to one ratio, and then silicone or no silicone, it does not matter. Torch or no torch, not really relevant unless you want like so many cells. You're like, wow. That's a lot of cells. But if you are not so crazy, and if you don't care that much, wait. Oh yeah, if you don't care about crazy amounts of cells, then one-to-one -one ratio with house paint, no silicone, no torch. And each one of those that you decide that you want to use does uh, increase the amount of cells in each one of those. See, this is why I do my paint first. My instead of the Floetrol, I'm never entirely sure how much I mix up. Last two videos, I've gotten into kind of a bad habit of Floetroling first. Okay, so that's about one to one ratio. And so then next up is our. This is base base side. Um, yeah, it's teal. Ah, 
So also, you guys gave me some great tips on putting Vaseline around the edge or, well, would you look at that? Would you just look at it? That's awesome. It made a skin over the top. How? Oh, oh it's not focusing. There we go. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I know I've gotten older, but I really don't think I've gotten, gotten any mature, maturer since at least middle school, maybe. <laughs> oh, man. All right. That's, wow. Seriously. I must, I must have put a ton of paint on the... I'm going to toss this in the trash real quick. So somebody called those paint boogers... I, <laughs> I am never, ever, ever going to look at my paint the same way again after hearing them being called the paint boogers. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, when I read that comment, I probably laughed for, I don't know, a good five minutes. But So yeah, they called them a paint booger. And to prevent the paint boogers... You can uh, either wipe it with a wet rag, put some Vaseline around the edge, and then it won't do it. Or somebody suggested Teflon tape that plumbers use, or if you're installing a new shower head, you put some Teflon tape around the edge. All right, here's the base side. Less talking, more pouring. I'm going to let these settle. I'm not stirring these because I want to see in the side of the cup because you can if you let it settle just a bit you can totally see it um, the level of it so like even this one's a darker color from what's settled and oh, from what's settled and showing it's probably about a bottom I don't know half inch so on these other ones man you know what So these apple barrel paints, they almost seem like they have the same consistency as house paints. No, they're thicker. Not by a whole lot, though. But they're on sale at Walmart, so I picked up a couple. I was like, hey, I need those. All right. And now Award Blue, and this one was turquoise teal, turquoise, and award blue. You know what? I really do like... Ooh, I almost put that in the same one. I really do like the blues that I've seen other artists do. Absolutely in love with those. They've done such a fantastic, great job. Um, and so I know I said that you can not... You don't have to use the silicone, but I'm going to put a couple drops of this. This is the treadmill belt lubricant that I use. Um, I've spent like, I don't know, the other day I went to the grocery store and I was looking for trimethicone, not the dimethicone that's in the hair serum and, and whatnot, but trimethicone. And right now I'm only putting two drops in, in each of these. And so also I want to show you, so this stuff is not the same as the, uh, I don't know if you can see how sticky it is. But it's a uh, thicker, it's not as liquidy as like the WD-40 is. So this is my old, I took a Tabasco bottle <laughs> and then washed it real good and then sprayed WD-40 in that. Um, so that's the WD-40 silicone, but this stuff is actually more like, a, almost like a little, a light grease anyway. Not that any of that matters, and still, if you're getting bored of this, that uh, fast forward thing is still in the description. So, I'll get this. Oh, you know what? I meant to mix, then add the silicone. Oh, we're gonna have small cells today. We're gonna have a lot of small cells today. Alright. Or maybe I'll dust the uh, pouring cup even more 
So then we'll end up with um, it pulling silicone out of the cup as it pours. Hmm. It's an interesting idea. <laughs> if I don't say so myself. Um, yeah. I'm trying not to whip any bubbles into my paint. No bubbles. Aren't those beautiful colors? I love those. I think this pour is going to be amazing. I really don't know what effect the uh, this tape thing is going to have on it, if any, to be honest. It might just have no effect whatsoever, and if it doesn't, that's, that's plenty fine too. I try new things because I like trying new things, not because I have to be perfect every time. I think if I was afraid of being perfect every time, then I don't know, I'd probably not want to try new things. So, there we go. Oh. So I lived in Hawaii for a while. My last duty station in the army was out of Hawaii and it was great. Um, I was stationed at Fort Shafter and it was a great place. Um, got to go to the beach every single weekend, and so I'd go to all like the hot snorkeling places, but get there crazy early, so none of the tourists were there yet. And so there had been times where I was the only person in Hanama Bay. If you're a if you're a Hawaii buff and you go to Oahu a lot, then you know how big of a deal it is to get Hanama Bay alone, because that never happens. But I'd get up crazy early and go snorkeling, and it was just amazing. But these colors all kind of remind me of, of the ocean out there. And when we mix some of these up, we're going to get varying amounts of greens. So we have the yellow. And you know what? I haven't been thinking while I was mixing this paint. And so now we have whipped yellow. Anyway. So. All right. What are we going to do next? Okay. Mixed all the cup. Now I'm going to pour them in the dirty pour. And then we will get this business on the road. So I've already dusted it once with the silicone, but I'm going to hit it again because I had to stir these so much that I'm going to get little cells. And I don't... Little cells are fine, but I want big ones. So I'm going to dust this cup even more. So what I do is I hold it about this far away. And then I, I don't want to pour this over the canvas. Oh, I can move the canvas. How about that? I'm a thinker. So, anyway, so, and that should be more than enough. Because now you, I don't know if you, how well you can see it, but there is, there's enough. All right, so, I'm going to use this yellow as the base. I'll add a little bit more in later. I want to get those greens out of it. So I want to pour all these into that yellow and... Oh, don't worry, we're coming back for more. You know what? I'm just gonna pour them in at once. Generally, I try to mix it up, but let's be bold. Let's be bold today. Man, I love yellow. So I've been stuck on that color palette that I had been using, and I wanted to use it up, to be honest, and that's kind of why it lasted so long. But I loved the first pour. It was so beautiful and everything. It was just amazing. And then the more times I did it, the less and less I enjoyed it. And so by the time the last one came around, which is going to post at 1 o'clock on Thursday, um, so I don't know if you're already past that part or not yet. Yeah. But this is the first new one. This will post on Friday at 1 o'clock. And, man, this is barely going to fit in here. But we did this by design. We wanted too much paint. All right. And so we are going to pour it in there. 
I really hope this works because I know a lot of the cells that I do come off. They come off the um, the tilting action. And so for this part, if you are on mobile, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit because we, we're done looking at stuff outside of the frame. So I'm going to try not to shake everybody. Whoa, that's way too close. Oh, no. And ha. Wow. Okay. That was intense for a 0.36% zoom. <laughs> All right. So anyways, we're just going to pour this in here. Dirty pour, not a flip cup. And ooh, that's kind of fun. Okay. So, man, I don't dirty pour often. Oh, okay, let's do this. Oh, my absolute goodness. Look at... Look at the cup! Are you serious right now? Okay, sorry. I hope that wasn't too loud in your ears. Okay, so two things. I should have poured it in more of a pattern because I don't like this business right here. Man, that is so vibrant on the screen. So this blue on my screen is a bit darker. So it's an actual, like, blue. How this shows up is this color. And this is like a royal blue. All right, so yeah, you know, should we add the rest in? Let's add the rest in. And that's what you get when you spray your cup with silicone. I love it. All right. And it's coming off. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right, so if this doesn't... No, I'm about to blame it on someone else, but it's going to be totally my fault if it doesn't work. And go. Go, go, go. Wait, wait. I want to torch you. Don't run yet. Actually, I love that. It's going to pour off, but I love it. You know what? I have to get some of this off or it is going to crack. There's too much paint on there. So here is La Torch. Okay, well, it didn't do a whole lot. There's a lot of silicone in there, so I'm actually a little surprised it didn't do a whole lot. So let's just tilt a bit and see what we get. There we go. See, this is what I was looking for, so it would start pulling itself down. Um, now I bet I can torch that yellow to better effect. Because I can, it's starting to get thin right there. Arr. All right. So I know I use the torch a lot, but Anne Marie's my muse, so you know. Whatever.
Okay, so I'm concentrating right now, so I'm sorry I've been so quiet. I try to talk a lot through these, pretty much most parts of videos, but I just want to make sure, because I absolutely love this area right there. I think that is so absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah. Okay, so... So I'm trying to get this top farther corner a little bit more offish without losing the top right corner. And I know that's going to be about impossible. So I'm tilting slow, trying not to mess up. And you know what, there's no real messing up with this art. If it completely messes up, I'll just say I did it on purpose, it's abstract art. I love these top top right yellow cells. Okay, so the verdict on this type of pouring with the tape around the sides and whatnot, don't like it. I'm not gonna do it again, but it was fun to try. I like the result, I just, I can get the same result with less paint. And so, feels wasteful. Oh, but it is so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to get you down so we could see some finer details in some of this. Because... I was just trying to pop some of these air bubbles. Paint get on the floor. I stepped in paint. Awesome. You know, so I always tell my son, son, you better not go outside without shoes. Or to the garage without shoes. And you know what? I'm out in the garage without shoes. <laughs> okay, so seriously, check these Those amazing, there is macro shots in there. And some of that, some just absolutely gorgeous things happening in here. Wow, this corner is very interesting too. Those are stunning. Okay, I'm a happy man. And there's gonna be some awesome macros down here. Not sure how they'll end up panning out, but we'll see. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. You all rock. And you know what? I appreciate you guys sticking with me if you watch this far. Would you mind reaching down and clicking the like button or the subscribe button or the share button or two or even three if you are an exceptional human being? Um, I appreciate y'all. All right. Talk to you. Oh, before we go.
ago, I want to point out one of the best people in the world ever. So, we have Eileen G is one of the best people ever in August 2017. These are a list of my uh, my channel supporters. I appreciate you. I really do, Eileen. Thank you. All right. I talk to you guys later. Have an awesome day. I hope your weekend is amazing. And see you guys.